And if the wind, rain, and snow aren't enough, how about an earthquake? That's right, it was an unexpected wake-up call for many people in McDowell County. News 13's Ingrid Allstead spoke with residents who were alarmed and confused when the ground started shaking. People here in Marion went to bed last night worried about the cold, the chance for snow, and of course, the high winds. But what they woke up to, few could ever forecast. As dead leaves begin to cover the Earth's floor, how odd so much life was waiting down below. It just gets loud feeling the shaking is and I didn't think nothing of it really. I thought it was the wind. But what Tommy Smith felt wasn't a strong gust of wind. Sarah Hammond even thought it was thunder. And all of a sudden we heard boom, 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 and then a real loud boom, and the china cabinet shook and some glasses rattled. It was the earth rattling around 8 a.m. Monday morning, thanks to a 2.9 magnitude earthquake. Uh, I was having coffee after breakfast, and uh, I had no idea what it was. It sounded like a big, big explosion. Government scientists say the quake was centered about five miles south of Marion, but felt as far west as Old Fort and as far south as Rutherford County. It was just a rumble of thunder coming down from the valley. I live out back cave, and then all of a sudden, just a big boom. And it felt like the house was going to come off the foundation. It was pretty cool. But with the snow in the mountains and Hurricane Sandy further east, residents are left wondering why. Is this all tied together? Well, that's the end of the world. There have been no reports of damage from this earthquake. Good news, so people can now focus on the cold and high winds once again. Reporting in Marion, Ingrid Alstead, News 13.